Welcome back to Therapy Designs. My name is Kelly and this is my dog Xander and this is the channel that's all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if you're new to print-on-demand and would like to see some useful videos and helpful tips and tricks, be sure to stay tuned, hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. In today's video, we're gonna be going over how to create this design right here. It has three different flamingos in front of a retro styled sunset backdrop, and it uses some outline features as well. Uh, so today we're gonna be going over different photo editing techniques, including photogenic and color pop. Um, we're gonna use a little bit of a rainbow overlay and just kind of give this a weird trippy summer and tropical feel, okay? So if this is something you're interested in learning how to do, please stick around. So as always, we're starting with our blank background. It is 4,500 by 5,400. And I'm just gonna go ahead and change this background color to black. Okay, so uh, for this design, we're gonna be starting out with um, some flamingos and using some photo effects. So I'm gonna come up to my elements tab and I am going to do a search for flamingos. Perfect. Now I'm also gonna be uh, filtering for photos because I wanna use my photo effects. Okay, so now I'm just gonna scroll through my photos until I find some flamingos that I want to work with. So ideally, I would like a picture that includes the entire flamingo, including the feet. So I'm gonna to continue to scroll down until I find something I like. Okay, so I like this one here, because I've got the entire flamingo, including the feet. I'm just gonna move that off to the side. Here's another one. This one is already missing the backdrop. That one's cool. Very similar styles. Can keep going. There's another one where they're standing. Here's our front view. It's kind of cool. And I'm just gonna pull out a few possibilities to start from. Okay, here's another one with a white backdrop. I'm gonna use that one. And there's a few more here. It's interesting. That's a really interesting one. Another one. Oh, that one's got its mouth open. Here's another one. This is probably good enough. I've got a whole bunch to choose from. I'm not gonna use all of them, but it is nice just to have a good variety. So that's probably good enough. I've got quite a few here. So what I can do at this point is literally just drag them all off my screen. So I'm just gonna get rid of all of them. Lots of choices, including that one. I'm gonna close this and I am gonna open up Recently Used. So Recently Used, you can now see I've got all of my options right here in front of me. So I can go ahead and pick any ones that I like that I think look good. Um, I am going to start with this one. It's got kind of just the traditional, you know, one foot up design. So let's go ahead and start with this one. I am going to edit this image. And for today, I'm going to show you how to use color mix. So color mix is an interesting one. I'll show you. You can kind of change the color. I'll jump through a few. So make it very bright pink, purple, green, blue. You can see a lot of different things. What I do want to show you today is the rainbow. So right now it looks a little weird, I know. But if we click here, there's a control called offset. This will offset the color of the rainbow from the image and the background. So I'm gonna bring that offset all the way back up. And now you can see there's quite a difference between the flamingo and the backdrop. And then if I bring this up all the way to the top, you can see now this flamingo is very bright. So 
you can play with the adjustments. I'm going to go ahead and keep them really bright for now and just apply because I want to show you how this is going to look. And we'll go ahead and do this with several different flamingos. Um, so for this one, I like the way he's looking. Okay. <laughs> so there we go. So I've got my first flamingo. It's a very cool kind of rainbow effect. Let's go ahead and do a few more just so I've got some variety. I'm gonna go ahead here. This one is facing forward. So for this guy, edit image, I'm gonna show you the photogenic. This is a second to load. So for photogenic, I can come up and again, it'll play with some of the colors and you can see vivid, soft, vintage. And so all of these kind of have a different feel. I can do black and white. And then there's some cool ones down here that say color pop. So for example, I really like, this one's kind of trippy. And there is a cool color pop. And I can play with the intensity again. So no intensity, very bright. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply on this one. And give it a second. There we go. Shrink this guy down and I'm gonna go ahead, edit image and we're gonna do the background removal. actually came out perfect. I thought the shadow under him might show up, but it looks like it did not. So we'll just apply that. Give it a sec. Okay. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and do maybe one more. Um, which one looks cool to me? I like this guy. His mouth is open. That's interesting. That's actually very interesting. Okay, so for this one, we'll come down. I can show you Duotone, but I don't really want to use this one. Duotone will just give it a kind of a solid one color. So for example, there's your, your pink and I can again play with some of the intensities on it. but I want something a little brighter. So I'm gonna go down again to color mix. And let's just go ahead and use that sangria one because I kind of liked that. Right, so that's pretty cool. I can use that, I'm gonna apply. I'm gonna get rid of this for now. And we'll repeat the process of removing the background at an image background removal. It's pretty good. We'll go ahead and hit apply. Give it a second. It'll finalize. Okay, so I've got three different flamingos. I'm going to go ahead and flip this guy. I think I'm deciding. Maybe not. I'm gonna orient them so that our rainbow guy is in the middle, our pink guy is on one side and our purple guy is on the other side. So now I've got three really trippy designs. Now I wanna add a, a sunset behind them. So here's how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and search elements again. And this time I'm gonna search retro sunset. And for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and look for graphics. And so now you can see there's all sorts of different options for retro or vintage sunsets. So there's a lot of, um, I guess, paid uh, companies that can create sunsets for you and different kinds of pre-made graphics for you. Now, the cool thing about Canva is it really does include just about everything you could need, including sunsets. So um, you can scroll through, there's a lot of different styles um, from really, really bright ones to some distressed looking ones. 
um, ones with images on them, some, you know, square, rectangle, triangle, circle. So, you know, you can look through, see what your options are, but you'll, you'll come to realize that there's a lot, a lot of cool things on Canva. And then we can also show you how to make your own sunsets by just saving different color circles and layering them on top of each other. So you can always create your own as well if you need a specific color or you can play with the colors the same way that you edit the photos. So if you were to save one of these as a photo and then you can go through and you know, play with the colors the same way you, we did with the, um, the flamingos here. So I can scroll down and I can look for a cool sunset that I want, something that's really bright. Um, and there's a whole bunch. There's some solid ones in here too. I kind of like the ones that have the black lines through them, but you know, you can see there's just so many different styles for you to play with. Um, different, different shapes as well. So you can spend a long time playing with all of these. If I go ahead and scroll back up. I'm going to go ahead and hmm, something like this. It will usually pop up with the magic recommendations so that I can see similar type designs. So it's going to pop up a lot of similar ones. I like the one that has the solid top half. And so I can just see what kind of colors I can play with. I do like something a little brighter like this, but I don't necessarily want the flamingos to blend in too much because I do kind of want them to pop out. Now there's a few things I could do to make them pop. Obviously one of them is putting a backdrop or, or an outline around them. And so that might be a cool option. I like this one here because it's got a lot of the pinks. Now, as you can see, it even looks like I can change some of the colors on here. So for example, if I wanted to with the yellow, I could go ahead and make that more of a teal. It's just one line, but you can see how we could play with some of these. Um, or blue, I guess more purple. Um, I'm gonna leave it for there. I'm gonna leave it like that for right now. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up. So I made a big sunset in the background. Once I have it where I want it, I'm just gonna send it all the way to the back. Okay. Now I think I'm gonna play with these guys. So, I'm gonna make them a little bigger. I'm gonna bring in the edges so they don't overlap themselves quite so much. It's just gonna make it easier for me when I'm selecting them. Because right now, they overlap quite a bit. There we go, that's just gonna make it a little easier for me. Next. We'll put the guy right there, and then I'm gonna go ahead. And then this one over here. I think I'm gonna flip this guy around. There we go. And then I can bring him down so he's looking at that one a little bit. This one I might just bring it up and have right here. Okay. So I kind of like the way that's looking. I might make this guy actually a little bit bigger still. And I might make this guy a little bit bigger still. Again, with all of these, it's just about playing around and deciding how you like things to look. So this is one option that you can do um, if you feel like the colors are blending in quite a bit. Um, we went over how to sh uh, throw an outline on it. So if I wanted to edit image and now just go ahead and uh, throw a shadow on it, I can. 
And so I could do black if I wanted to. It might make it pop around the edges. I could try white. I could use maybe a bright yellow. So again, you can play around with what you like. If I start with black, you can see what it looks like to have just kind of a black edge around him. And so that's kind of a cool look. Um, again, I can just change the colors. I kind of like the white, it pops a little bit. I can go with more of a yellow. If I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna make it a really bright yellow. Kind of like that, makes it really pop. And so I'm just gonna use that as an example. We'll go with the yellow right there. I'm gonna hit apply. And there we go. I can outline them in different colors if I like as well. So let's say I take this guy here, edit image, throw a shadow on, I'll do the same thing. Thing. Lose that, lose that, bring that up, stick with black. For this one, a contrasting color might be more in the line of like a blue or a teal. I kind of like the blue there, it's pretty bright. Again, I can make it a little bit brighter if I want to, to really make it pop there. And I'll hit apply on that one. And then for this guy, I think I will go ahead, we will outline him too. And for this guy, I'm thinking either black because he's already so rainbowed or something like white, which might look good against a black background. That's kind of cool. Apply. There we go. And of course, I can kind of reposition them, resize them however I like. Okay. And bring this guy up. So there are some of the really cool effects that you can do. I'm also gonna go ahead and I'm gonna save this whole thing as an image because I'm gonna cut off just the bottom part, I think, of this, um, of this design. Here we go. So that the sunset just looks like a half a sunset. Here, I might just bring this guy, make him a little smaller. So I'm gonna go ahead and download it and I'll show you how we do this. And while it's downloading, if you guys have any comments or questions, just go ahead and drop them in the section below and I will get back to them as soon as I can. Okay, here we go, Untitled Design is up. So let's see if I can just drop him. Not quite. Yep, yes I can, there it is. Take this, I can crop it all the way up just by dragging it. And now I can resize as one image. Boom. Perfect. Cool summer design. If I wanted to, I could put some text under here. Um, you know, whatever you like. But that's it. That's just essentially how to to use some cool photo effects to create more of a summer bright vacation type design, tropical design. So I'm just gonna go ahead and title it. I will just title this uh, Flamingos. And then I will download transparent background, hit download, and we're all done with this design. That's it for this video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos, go ahead and hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.